Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am here with my FabFitFun Summer 2020 box customizations and add-ons tips and tricks review video for you. If you're new to my channel, what I do is I record my computer screen. I show you all the ways that I pare down my cart. This is about helping eliminate things from our carts so that we don't overspend and overstock. And then I go through the entire sale and I share as much as I can possibly remember about what I've learned about each of the products that are available in the sales and then I show you what's in my cart and then I show you what box customizations I picked not necessarily in that order so we are going to get into recording my computer screen now okay so here we are in my computer screen if you are familiar with my videos I will leave a timestamp in the description box below with uh, that's a link to jump you ahead of this intro part that I usually do where I talk about the three things that I usually look at well I don't know if it's three the things that I usually look at to see if I can eliminate something from my cart so the first thing I check is I check to see if something is cruelty free and my favorite reference guide for that is cruelty free kitty this is it this is cruelty free kitty.com i will leave links to all the websites i talk about in the description box below as well so if you go to cruelty free kitty.com on the home page if you scroll down just a bit there's this little search bar uh where you can enter in a brand let's try paracone md okay so it has this in the database and then you can just take a look and you'll see that it has Paracone MD listed as cruelty free. There are a number of cruelty free resources to see if something's cruelty free. If you're interested in using this as a way to eliminate things from your cart, there's Cruelty Free International, there's PETA, there's, there are some other blog sites as well. Uh, I like Cruelty Free Kitty because they are, they're the strictest for me. So for me, I really, I really like that. They're very, very thorough in their investigation into companies to see whether or not they're cruelty free to a, a certain degree. So this one is cruelty free. They don't test on animals. They also don't sell products where animal testing is required by law. And then you can uh, scroll down and see a little bit more information. Sometimes it will list a, a brand as cruelty free, but then it will note that they're owned by a parent co company that is not cruelty free. And for me, I usually I tr do my best not to buy from brands that are also owned by parent companies that aren't cruelty free. So that's there are varying degrees and varying ways you can go about trying to be cruelty free if you're interested. The, the You just have to kind of get started if you're interested in doing it at all and kind of learn as you go. I definitely learned as I, I went and I'm still learning and I, uh, I've learned that I really like this as my reference guide. So I will link this one below. The next thing I do if you're interested in learning about ingredients is I go to, um, so we're done with Cruelty Free Kitty. The next thing I do is I go to skincharisma.com. This is the URL. Link will be in the description box. And you can even create yourself a little account where you can remember different ingredients. You can add it to your account and, and, and so you can learn more about what ingredients you, <clears throat> excuse me, you would as a consumer like to try to avoid in your cosmetics. So, this is the home page. If you go here where it says cosmetics analyzer and you click that, it gives you this little uh, box where you can paste a list of ingredients. So we're gonna go to the add-on sale and we're gonna grab some ingredients here. I wanna try to grab some ingredients where I know something might come up as red here. Dermalect usually um, is a little more flexible with what they'll use in their products. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and go back over to Skin Charisma, paste it in there, analyze the product. So you can see it gives you this ingredient analysis results and it gives you product notes. So this is Paraben-free, sulfate-free, alcohol-free, minimal ingredients, allergen-free, according to the EU, 
uh, there, there's, there's a potential fungal acne trigger and it's not silicone free. So that's a snapshot. Then if you scroll down a little bit, it will tell you, um, it will tell you what things might be bad for different kinds of skin types. And then it will give you an overall, uh, safety breakdown according to the EWG. And I'll tell you what the EWG is just in case you don't know, just in a little bit. And then here it actually breaks down each different ingredient. So this doesn't have such terrible ingredients. I don't know much about this one. But you can go down and you can look and you can see on the left hand side there are these ratings. If you scroll to the top, each of the columns, this is the EWG rating, which is the Environmental Working Group, and this is the CIR rating, which is a different organization. It's the Cosmetics Ingredients Review. So you can get a snapshot with Skin Charisma, and like I said, you can create yourself an account so you can flag ingredients that you've learned that you want to try to avoid, and you can go back and reference it as you look at uh, products you are interested in. But so the in environmental working group. So what that is, is it's here. This is the EWG.org. This is their cosmetics site and it's uh, EWG.org slash skin deep. Again, link will be below in the description box. And you can, if you're interested in learning more about a particular ingredient in here, for instance, I don't know anything about this one. Let's go ahead and put this one in the search bar paste and then you can search and then, then you can dig a little bit deeper to see what the deal is with that ingredient and why it's rated the way it is so here it is uh, and it tells you the score and about the concerns and 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 i'm not going to go in and read much well okay fine <laughs> concern persistent or bioaccumulative and moderate to high toxicity concern in humans okay um, now, I have heard some people, um, I've heard varying opinions about this website and its validity. I don't know who's right, but I do think that it probably has, it, I, for me, for me, I think it has a, a, a degree of validity where I will refer to it. Um, and then now there is the cosmetics ingredient review. So this was the second rating on Skin Charisma. Um, it was this one in the second column right here. So if you go to the cosmetics ingredient review, it, here's the URL down below in the description box as well. I'm going to paste that. Oh, you can see I searched this one. This one, this website actually comes up with uh, papers. So you can see polyacrylamide. You can see published reports. And now this is actually from legitimate scientific journals. So this you can take a little bit more ser seriously. Um, like I said, I have heard varying opinions about EWG. I still think that they're worth it and, and definitely something to reference. But I do really appreciate that the Cosmetics Ingredient Review actually cites scientific papers uh, relating to the ingredients. So if you are really, really interested in learning about ingredients, that's the way to do it. It's not, it doesn't take as long as it may feel like, and I've been able to spot check ingredients lists and be able to see what I don't want to use for myself. I'm actually not terribly strict um, as far as what I won't use, but... So that's that's how I check for ingredients. Now we are going to head on over to the edit sale. Another thing that I do uh, is I go to the actual websites of the products uh, or the lines of products that are available in the sales and I just see if they resonate with me at all. I want to point out to you that another really amazing resource is if you go to the community forum which is right here. So here, we'll go back to the FabFitFun homepage. I'll show you, show you in case, in case you don't know how to get there. Here's the homepage. If you hover over community and you click forum, it takes you to this community forum <laughs> and you can search. There are all these threads on the right side with all these topics. 
and you and there's also a search bar right here a little magnifying glass if you click that you can search so if you're really interested about to see what people are saying about a particular product you can actually search right there the product and it will come up like uh, for instance let's see um, let's do living proof styling cream and it will come up with all of the places it's been mentioned I wish it I wish it showed, oh, sort by relevance. So you can also sort them by relevance or the latest post, most like, most viewed, latest topic. So you can see what people are saying about certain products that you're curious about. So that's the search function that I've never actually pointed out before on my channel, but I realized it might be helpful. So you can, I, this right here, every single quarter a uh, FabFitFun staff member starts this thread it used to be much better but they have changed the staff that it's different staff that are moderating it so it's not as good there was a really amazing woman who used to moderate it i just she must not have slept at night because she was just all over it answering everyone's questions it was amazing so it's not as helpful but i still watch it you can see I haven't, I found it not as helpful, so I haven't been as diligently following this particular thread this time, but I'm still looking at it. The thread that I am really uh, following and I've read, I'm up to date on all the posts, is this one, Summer, <clears throat> summer Add-on Reviews, and this is usually a member started thread about each of the sales. So I am, I I like the, this thread a lot and I follow it and the women in this these threads, they're amazing, they're supportive, they're answering each other's questions and it's awesome. Um, so, <clears throat> so that's a, another tip I have, definitely get involved with the community forum if you're feeling lost with the cells. I know when I first started I felt really lost. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we're going to head on over to the sale. So here, let's see. I am gonna start by showing you my cart, I think. Let's start there. I think that's what I usually do. Okay, so this is my cart. I have 11 items in my cart and I'm at $138. I am really well stocked right now. I just need a couple of things and I, I've, I'm trying to get it under $100. I should be able to. So I have the Ramona Klein Vitamin B Serum. I honestly am kind of surprised I'm considering getting this. I'm going to show you the um, Ramona Klein website and the serum. So it has just a handful of reviews. I don't like following the reviews on the brand's website as much. I don't just don't know if they're compromised or they're friends of the family or something who, are, who go on and leave reviews. I try to find different reviews. Um, but it does have good reviews on their website and I just like the <laughs> description I deal with. One of the problems I deal with is firmness in my skin and this is supposed to be um, what strengthens the tissue and that's what sold me. <laughs> well, it, I don't know if I'm sold actually. I may still drop this one, but I'm still, I'm still entertaining the idea of getting it. So um, as far as reviews, I love it when there are reviews on Ulta and Sephora. I really, really love it. I love it when you can find something on Influencer. I am on Influencer and it is a really, it's a really, the, the reviews on Influencer are very candid. You go on, people go on there and they leave reviews so that they can get free stuff basically. That's why I do it and I've gotten free stuff from Influencer. And there's no one bribing me to say anything about different products. So I trust Influencer um, as well as Sephora and Ulta. If I do recommend if you're going to look at Amazon readings, ratings, <clears throat> particularly if the ratings are a little bit low, make sure that you check and see what the low ratings say because a lot of times it's about packaging or complaints about shipping or complaints that the product might be a fake. So double check that to make sure that you're getting the, the most accurate reviews if you're using Amazon. Okay, so that, that, that's my tips on checking reviews. Um, so I'm not, I'm still not sold on this. I might or might not get it. Uh, I am a fan of lip color. It's one of my 
favorite makeup products to use. I eyed this pack at the um, when it was available a couple of sales ago, and I think that I am going to get this. All of the colors look very neutral, uh, and I did watch a YouTube review video. Uh, if I remember, I will link that one in the description box below. And um, the colors are long, apparently the colors are long lasting. They wear comfortably, and uh, and there's no transfer, which is what I like. I don't like make I don't like lipsticks that um, transfer. Uh, so that I'm very very picky as far as that's concerned. So these and they're they're comfortable to wear apparently. Anyway, and I'm a big fan of CBD. I think it's very beneficial in a lot of ways. Um, I do need cleanser. I'm very well stocked except for I don't have a backup cleanser other than so I have one in my shower and I don't have a backup. I did a poll actually on the let's see where that poll is at. It has 11 voters and right now the Kopari is winning. So if you're looking for cleanser, this is a poll that I created and the Kopari is winning by a lot. I I'm not terribly in love with the Kopari line, but a lot of people really, really like them. So I uh, I'm, I'm, I dumped the Kopari. I, I knew it would do well in this poll. Anyway, I'll, I'll talk a little bit as we go through the, the uh, products that are available about why I'm not... It's nothing like huge. It's just I haven't really loved the two things that I've tried by them. So uh, I did that poll. This Shani Darden one has amazing reviews on Sephora. Amazing reviews on Sephora. So I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to get two. And then the Holy Frog. Somebody mentioned on the forum that the that Tati and another big uh, YouTuber have said great things about this line. And uh, this is the one. There are two Holy Frog face washes available. There's one that's good for dry skin, which is this one. I have dry skin. And then there's another one that's better for oily skin. So if you're looking at the Holy Frog cleansers, just keep that in mind. The balmy wash one is for dry. The gel wash one was for oily. I really like some AG hair care products. I am really excited. They recently launched this natural line which is great because they did have a lot of ingredients in their uh, traditional, their original line that were kind of turning me off. <clears throat> but <clears throat> this has uh, pretty decent reviews. Not a lot of reviews. Anything by the natural line is fairly new. Like I said, they launched a couple years ago. And I am excited about the idea of trying this, particularly when I straighten my hair. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, so now we have the Aloe Up Ice Jelly. I used an Aloe Up product when I was first when I first joined. It was a chemical based face uh, sunscreen uh, moisturizer for the morning, and it was lovely. I have since switched to mineral sunscreens, but. This is an aloe with a little bit of lidocaine. So this is if you get burned. This is going to work really well. I actually didn't read reviews. I only saw that it was incredibly popular. 27 reviews on Amazon, four and a half stars, 29 reviews. So it's five bucks. I'm going to grab it just as an aloe anyway. Um, this, people love this uh, hair mask. I've seen many, many praises about it. So I'm finally going to grab it and try it. This I have used. This is another product from the AG Hair Care Natural line, and it is very good in curly hair. I will say that for the first time I used it, I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And then I couldn't recreate the way the way it worked in my hair perfectly again. The first time I used it, I, it could have been that I was in a different climate because I used it in Southern California, and then I used it again in Northern California. I used, I, you know, I showered in different water. I, it was, I just couldn't recreate it. So the first time it was amazing. And then from then on, it was good, but it was still like, 
it was still a little sticky, slightly sticky, and my hair didn't have the movement that I like in my hair. So I may or may not get this. I Honestly, the uh, Marrakesh Styling Cream is blowing anything I've ever used out of the water right now. So I may or may not get it, actually. But it, it is good. It is really good. I just couldn't recreate that first perfect time. It was really frustrating. Um, so people say good thing about the MD, uh, good things about the MD Solar Sciences. This is a mineral uh, sunscreen. My husband and I just bought a house, and it has a pool, and we are in a very hot, sunny climate, so I am definitely getting this for us. The Bagu bags, people love this. They're complaining about the patterns because they're not, some people think this looks like tampons. Um, I did not see that until somebody said so. Uh, but I, I do like having these bags for myself or I figured if I don't use them, they're great little additional gifties when you give somebody a present to you know, give them the big present and then have something little in addition to it. I like that. So this skirt, I really want to show you. It's on Amazon. The sarong. It converts into a purse if you haven't seen that. Let's see. Search Google. Let's find it on Amazon. Okay. So for the sake of the sale let's look at it in the same color so you wear it like that it's awesome because it has a pocket which is so great and then it converts into a shoulder bag so you can use it as a bag <laughs> this is awesome i think this is really really clever and my husband if i can get him to go on vacation he well he loves going on vacation but he always wants to go to hawaii so um we try to compromise but we go to hawaii and this looks great. I really like the pink, but they have the blue available on the sale. Uh, so I am seriously considering getting this. I think that it would be a wonderful thing to take when we go to Hawaii or even just our new house has a pool, like I said, and just hanging around the house. So this is my cart so far. Um, I really don't know what I would... I might cut... I have... I might cut the Ramona Klein and I might cut the AG Rosehip Balm because I have just plenty of hair products. Uh, so that won't get me quite under a hundred, but it'll get it, it'll get my cart down. <laughs> Buying a house is expensive, and I am really well stocked on products right now. So, so that's my cart. Uh, now let's look at the entire FabFitFun sale. I will talk as much as I can about what I know about each of the products. If I don't know something, I'm just gonna say I don't know and pass over it, and I apologize if I don't know something about you're really about a product that you're really anxious to learn about. So the Bento uh, Bent Go lunch boxes, I almost got it, and then I just saw that it had really mixed reviews. It's Tupperware. I have Tupperware. I don't need them, so I dumped them. Spongels, I'm not a fan of spongels because of, I think they're um, they can be wasteful. I have I do have some friends who have said that they have found ways to reuse the sponges once the soap has been totally cleared out uh, in their with their plants. So I uh, there are ways to make use of them afterward, but um, I think they last. 30 days or something, and then you're supposed to just toss them. So I don't buy spongels for that reason. If you're curious about them, they are extremely, extremely popular. You can go to the forum if you're curious about certain scents. You can use that search feature I showed you in the beginning of this video and search it, and you can find people's opinions all over the forum. So definitely check that out. This works. People seem to really like their sleeping stuff. That's all I got there. People were saying great things about this, that it really lasts and that it works really well in the shower, that you can, can answer phone calls that come in through it, which that's pretty cool. I don't think I can even do that on my Bose one, but, um, and Bose is like really high end. <laughs> Uh, that said, people really like it. There were a couple people that spoke up and said that they didn't like it so much. Also, if you if you're gonna be listening to like podcasts and things like that, this could be great. If you're somebody who really wants your music to sound really good, I wouldn't recommend getting not just this one but a cheap ver a cheap 
speaker like this at all. You might want to spring for one that's slightly pricier. Bose is the highest end, so that's a little bit, you know, uh, expensive. But um, but if you know if you're going to be listening to podcasts in your shower, people were saying great things about this. So then eleven dollars, that's great. Uh, Daily Concepts, I have used a couple of their shower things like this, and I, if you need something like that, I would go ahead and grab it. I don't know. Nasif MD, this guy was on the TV show Botched, I think it was, and he came out with this line of products. People love these pads. They say that they're huge. You can cut them in half to extend the life of the uh, package. And then um, look out, it is an AHA and BHA. So if you are using those those types of ingredients. Otherwise, you definitely don't want to overload your skin with those kinds of ingredients. But people love these. People are saying wonderful things. I try to stay away from single-use uh, uh, products just like the sponge gels. So I'm not going to get it. Um, but yeah, um, people aren't talking about the cocoa floss this time around. But I when but when they do, they say great things. People really like that, this dental floss. I don't know why, what could make a dental floss so special, but they like it. Um, I don't, I don't really do makeup remover wipes. Again, it's the one time use thing, trying to reduce waste in my life. And I haven't heard many people talk about Aesthetica as a brand at all. So more spend gels. This foot mask, <laughs> people were asking about it on the forum. A, about 90% of the people who responded agree with me. It's odd. It doesn't do anything. It's runny. It's weird. And it's kind of useless. But there were a couple of people who spoke up and said that they love it. Um, but they were definitely, definitely the minority. Um, I do like Wish as a brand. I think that they are very, um, you know, sustainably minded as a brand. I do like them. But this was a weird product. It came with one of our boxes. Dermalect, I don't know anything about that particular Dermalect product I've used. Their neck cream, which I did think actually did something for me, but then I learned it had um, parabens and formaldehyde releasers, I believe, definitely formaldehyde releasers. And so I, I decided I wasn't going to be using that anymore. But so like I said, Dermalect can be pretty open-minded, let's call it, with what kind of ingredients they put into their products. But I don't know anything else beyond that. I kind of just stopped looking at the brand because of the um, their flexibility with ingredients. I don't know. Tarte. Tarte is so cute as a brand. I just think it's great. They are owned by a company called Coz, and Coz isn't cruelty-free. So if you saw the beginning of this video and I talked about um, the ways you can be cruelty-free and how I try to be cruelty-free, it means I, I try not to buy tart. I, I stopped buying tart once I learned that. But I always look at their stuff and I always think it just looks so darn cute. And uh, people say great things about their their products. Um, if you need some uh, socks, some ankle socks, people have said, I remember seeing people say good things about these. Um, there's Green Goo. People love Green Goo products. All their products, they go nuts over it. Um, I don't know anything about this particular one. People say great things about the Wish Shave Cream. I have not used it. I used one from Trader Joe's that's just excellent. So I've never found a need to. My husband and I both use the Trader Joe's one. So it's the only one I feel like I'll ever need. This is SPFRX. They're the same people that made the Namaste Skin Care line. They're the same um, overall company. And then also... The, there's they make serums and stuff. This just looked weird. I had it in my cart and I didn't like the colors for me. Anyway, that's that's all I have there. I didn't look at reviews. Kate Spade lunch tote. It's a cute lunch tote. I uh, got it in the box that it came in because I didn't like anything else. I didn't like that customization choice of the group at all. So I chose this and I ended up giving it to a coworker as a gift. People are always impressed when you give them something by Kate Spade too. So that was nice. Dr. Brandt. I don't buy from Dr. Brandt. They're not cruelty free um, at all. So I just overlook it. But and again, no judgment. If you don't, if you don't look at that, uh, I do know that 
not so much lately, but when this was first showing up in sales, it's been in sales a lot. When it was first showing up in sales, Noah and people just were loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. The packaging is a little crazy. It's a lot of plastic, but people were loving it. People really, really like this purse. It, I have a purse that this reminds me of, and I do love mine, the one that's a lot like this. It's the, a similar size. It basically fits your wallet, your phone, your keys, and a chapstick or something. So if you want something like that that's just small and fits your essentials, this is a great option for that. Um, people say they really like it. I have the Luxme Pure Nalatica Melt. I so so RIP to the owner of this. She is my age and she passed away just oh, four months ago, five months ago, something like that. I don't know exactly what from. I believe it was some sort of cancer. Uh, and then I'm, this is the last time I'll tell this story. I was in my office. I had this particular product out on my desk. I just started a new job. One of the higher ups came to introduce himself to me and he saw it on my desk and he, uh, he said, I know the owner. I I have a picture of me holding her as a baby. One of her father is one of my best friends, and I was like, "Oh wow, that's really wild." And then right right then he says, "She died a couple weeks ago." This was like back in January, and I my jaw dropped, and <laughs> it was just so sad. But um, it left an impression on him. It was really really crazy that that happened. Anyway, overall as a product though, this is pure shea butter. So if if you want something like that then go for it. It takes a long time to absorb. And I honestly, I I feel like I, I think I have something with, with the smell of shea butter. I don't know why this is saying Nilotica fruit butter. On the packaging, it says that it's shea butter. Let's see what that... Yeah, it's shea butter. I don't know why it's not just saying shea butter there. Um, so it's pure shea butter. Uh, and so if you like making your own stuff with shea butter included, that would be a good way to get the ingredient as well. Um, it takes a long time to absorb. People, Elemis is just a, a great line. I've used a few things. I've used four things by them, and I've loved every single one. Uh, and there are some people on the forum that were swearing by this particular cream. I have so many face creams. I don't need any. Um, more Dr. Brandt. I already talked about that. Ciate. I like Ciate as a line. Uh, I don't know much about this. One person on the on the forum said that they thought it was good. They thought it was a good blush. They didn't rave about it. They said that they had another one they liked better, but that this packaging was so darn cute that they liked this one as well. Um, the silicone applicators, I, I, I love the spirit behind it so that you have an applicator that lasts longer and you're not wasting all these sponge ones, but people, people in general don't like the way they apply makeup. I don't know anything about the teamy stuff. For this, uh, you can find these things for just about the same price, a whole bunch of options at TJ Maxx, Ross. I, I never buy these acrylic things in these sales. Um, I don't remember what people said about the Winky Lux, so I'm not going to say anything. Kate Somerville, people love Kate Somerville products. Um, I don't buy them. They're owned by Estee Lauder. And according to Cruelty Free Kitty, Estee Lauder is not cruelty free. I did just learn that um, Cruelty Free International does count Estee Lauder as a cruelty free company. Um, well, that's what somebody in one of my um, comments on another video said. So um, that's that's why I wanted to stress, you know, learn your favorite reference guide if you're going to start exploring that world. And there could be some that are more strict or some that have different standards based on different things. Um, people really like the Kopari original coconut deodorants. I did look at reviews. What's great about this is that it has no baking soda. And a lot of people, like a fair amount of people are actually really allergic to baking soda on their skin or maybe even ingesting it. I'm not sure. But that's really a plus. But I did see some reviews where people said this really didn't work for me. Unfortunately, baking soda is an ingredient that really helps. So but if you're allergic to baking soda and you're looking for a deodorant, a natural deodorant, this could be for you. This one, um, 
this one has reviews on Amazon. I kind of forget what they said, but if you want to check it out, go ahead and take a look. Um, I don't know. Oh, there was a comment on here. So there are two scrubs available from Fair Frank Body, which I believe is an Australian company. Let's see. Yeah, made in Australia. And this one didn't have as great reviews. The other one had better reviews. That's what I have. That's what I have in my memory bank for that. Uh, oh, this one had better reviews. This this guy. Um, oh, this is made by the same people that do Mighty Patch. And this uh, is for after. So you use the Mighty Patch to help get rid of the blemish. And then once the blemish is all, all the gunk is extracted from using the Mighty, Mighty Patch and you still have the redness and the, and the flakiness, you put this on. And it's supposed to help with that part of the healing process. I just learned that this morning. Uh, this is um, a, a hair mask and it is apparently it's much lighter. Like, so if you don't like heavy hair masks, this could be for you. Some people really, really like it and some people don't because they say it's not much better than just a conditioner. That's up to you. That's about preference, right? I have been wanting to try something from Becca, but now is not my time. I don't know why. Laura Geller. I see a lot of Laura Geller stuff at TJ Maxx. So if you're interested in that line, I think I would try something from there um, before I start purchasing her stuff in these sales. That's how I feel. I just see her at TJ Maxx so much that I don't feel like it's necessary to jump on anything from her line in the, these sales. This hand skin hyaluronic essence. I love it. I've been talking about it for a while. I've started to see other people talk about how much they love it. So it seems like a hands down favorite. What I One of the things, I like a lot of things about it. One of the things I really like about it is when I use it and then I put my product on afterward, I need less product. It helps the product go a longer way. So love this stuff. I have still, I'm working on this size bottle and I've had it for over a year now. It's still good. It's down to about this pink line. So it's almost gone. I have about three quarters of an inch left, but over a year, over a year it lasted. So it's definitely well worth the price. Oh, White House Black Market. That's a good line of uh, clothes. Well, at least it was 10 years ago when I first discovered them. I don't know much about them anymore. I do remember people saying really great things about this uh, this moisturizer. I ended up dumping it, I think, because it's citrus and it seems like it could be sweet. I'm just worried it'll smell like creamsicle. I've learned that there's something about creamsicle smelling um, lotions that I don't, I don't really like very much. Okay, so I'm going to say my spiel about jewelry that I always say. If you are looking at FabFitFun jewelry and you are sensitive to materials or you don't want to risk your uh, jewelry getting tarnished, pay attention to what it's made of. Um, it's very frustrating to see this is uh, the regular price is listed as $49 retail and to see that it's silver plated brass. It's a very cute necklace. Um, I do think it could easily get like kind of off kilter with the way it's designed, but it's still pretty nonetheless. But check out the ingredients before you dive into or the ingredients, the materials before you dive into getting jewelry from from FabFitFun. If that if that is something that's important to you, some of them, it's just like obviously some sort of alloy and it belongs in Claire's and it says it retails for $50. And that's just, that's just not right. Okay. Um, I don't know anything about that diffuser. Tula, people seem to really like the Tula line of products. I've used a couple of them. I haven't been terribly impressed. They haven't knocked my socks off. I used their face wash from one of the boxes, which was a fine face wash. It was fine. Um, they're doing this whole pre uh, probiotic kick with the topical probiotic. Who knows if that's actually effective? Um, there's no nothing proven that it is. And then I also used their, um, it was their press serum that people love. And I thought it was a little bit greasy and it was loaded with silicone, so I didn't like it. But people love it. And it could double, well, now I'm talking about a product that's not even in this sale. Never mind. So that's all I know about Tula. So I haven't been terribly impressed. But people do love their line of products. 
I have yet to try something from Paracone MD. It's kind of like Becca. It's one of those things. Eventually, I'll try something. This just looks like a um, a very expensive uh, lip um, a, a tinted chopstick cheese. <laughs> I couldn't come up with that. More Kate Somerville. Rodeal. People like the Rodeal line of products. I haven't... Oh, I have used one of their products, but nothing available in this sale. Uh, I don't do sheet masks, so I can't really speak to the sheet masks. Uh, billion Dollar Beauty, same as Billion Dollar Brows, I imagine. Okay, so there were some people talking about this on the forum. Um, most of the people who said anything about it really, really liked it, found the smell to be surprisingly good, even though it's, um, it's supposed to smell like hay or something, but uh, that it smelled more like fresh and, and natural. But there were some people who said it smelled awful, <laughs> but not as many people. Most people that said anything about it liked it a lot. But if you're not sure <laughs> about scent, that's why I'm not going to get it because it's like, I, I could hate it. I could hate the scent. <laughs> so I don't want to risk it. Type A deodorant, people say works really well. The only complaints I've seen about this is that the packaging is kind of weird and getting the product out can be kind of frustrating. But it, nothing about the actual performance of the deodorant have I seen like a criticism. Um, I've seen that this, I do know that people were saying this was really odd and gimmicky and just strange. So uh, stay away from it unless you are intrigued by the novelty of it. This, I remember when this came out in a box as a box choice. I think it's... This cut is very strange with the tie that really, I don't know why, but it really bothered me. It's not a tie that loops around. It's not a robe. It's meant to be worn out and about. Uh, it's just a, a strangely cut garment. I don't know. Um, they had beach towels. They have a ton of beach towels. They're all, my, no, I don't know if they're all microfiber. I believe all of the Summer Rose beach towels that are available are microfiber. I'm not a fan of microfiber, so I'm not getting them. I, I, I'm not a fan of microfiber because microfiber was, in principle, it was a really great idea as a way to recycle all of the plastic that we just have an abundance of trash of, that's plastic. So it was a way to do something with it. But unfortunately, it is in the... So it's woven, it's plastic that's woven into material. And now when we wash it, all of these fine plastic particles are getting drained into our oceans. So that's bad for the um, oceans. <laughs> uh, there's fine plastic particles. So that's my feelings on microfiber. I also don't like how it feels usually. It feels a little funny. Um, moving on. So an Aztec. Oh, is this one of those... Oh, this is like those Mexican blankets. Yeah, made in Mexico. So if you're looking um, at this as like as if it might be something cozy, it's not. It's going to be rougher. It'll be good for picnics and things like that. You aren't going to want to cuddle up on the couch with one of these blankets. I'm in California. I see those blankets all the time. Um, people like this. It's a mineral. It's, it's a chemical sunscreen, but uh, I, it did have good reviews on. Ulta? I think it was Ulta. Um, people are totally split on the Babe Lash. All of these kinds of lash conditioners, serums. I see some people saying didn't do a thing. And then I see some people saying they see results. It seems about 50-50. So. Um, Becca, one day I'll try you. This looks like a newer line. It was available in Ipsy. It seemed like it had okay, good reviews. LA Fresh, Good Day Moisturizer. Uh, Butter London. I'm curious to try something from Butter, Butter London. I wish they had a picture of the spoolie on this mascara. It's one of those spoolies that has the ball on the end so you can really get in there and separate your lashes. I was curious about this, but I didn't want a brown eyeliner. Um, I know some people were excited to stock up on these again. We are Paradox. This is an Irish company, and I talked about it. In, I've talked about this company before. 
One thing I really, really like about them is that they use aluminum, so they're trying to eliminate the amount of plastic they use. The tops are plastic, though, but uh, they use aluminum, so that's really, really awesome. And, yeah, so they have some new products in here. Other than that, I think the hair mask is in the sale. We'll get to it, and I have used that, and I'll tell you what I think of it then. Um, people are finally saying, uh, giving opinions, sharing opinions about this Avant line of products huge price tags on the retail prices uh but people are saying that they like them the the stuff that's available in this sale somebody mentioned the glycolic hand cream that was available in a prior sale said they like that so people are speaking up about that brand and that they like them um more tula i already talked too much about tula uh there that's in my cart this looks useful oh kanuka this has wonderful reviews. I can't remember if it was Ulta or Sephora. It was one of them. But check check it out um, if you're interested. Somebody said that the, this was amazing for their under eye bags. Um, yeah, so good reviews on the Kanuka stuff. Really good reviews. Algenist. Great reviews on Algenist stuff. I... I was able to confirm this time around that they are cruelty free. Sephora, uh, most of their stuff has really good reviews on Sephora. So you can check out Sephora, uh, Sephora's website for reviews on that. I'm going to skip over bundles too because I'll just talk about each product individually instead of go to the bundles. Rodeal, I mentioned. I don't know anything about the Rodeal products in this sale though. R&Co. R&Co, I've used a handful of R&Co products. They have been very hit and miss. I also find that they're very adventurous with their scents and fragrances, especially, well, I don't know, I've, I use their moisturizer or shampoo and conditioner, we'll get to that one, but I really wish if you're looking at this, you could have an opportunity to smell it, to make sure that you like it, because I find some of their stuff to be very, very fragrant, um, especially their moisturizer, moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. Um, people are talking actively about these on the forum though. So if you're curious and you're trying to decide which one to get, you can go use that search function on the forum and see what people are saying on there. Nelson J, um, they have a hair mask that people really like that I haven't tried. I've tried their shampoo and conditioner. It was fine. It wasn't anything to write home about. And all of, most of the products, I think all of the products actually available in this sale are new. So there aren't a lot of reviews. So I went ahead and dumped all of them. Uh, spend gel stuff, e-cooking. I couldn't find much about this, um, but I do think, if I remember correctly, I think it's geared towards sensitive skin. I don't know. I Don't quote me on that. I can't quite remember. Um, but I couldn't find too many reviews on the products available in the sale by that brand. Uh, the Bloom products. Okay, so here's another Nelson J product. I talked about that already. Um, the Bloom products, this is a really cool company. I think they also have a subscription box for um, organic tampons and, and uh, pads. And then they have this, and then they have also an acne oil, if I remember correctly. Uh, I learned that a while ago. <laughs> so you can double check me on their website, but I'm pretty sure. Um, people say that this does help. Um, I don't know. Uh, this is one of those brands where I went to their website and I just couldn't connect. I, it felt like it was geared toward teenagers even. Uh, so I just couldn't connect with them. Maybe they've changed their website since. I don't know. But I just, I couldn't connect with the marketing. It, it's all superficial, the reason that I'm not interested in that brand. Here's more Luxme. Luxme has great reviews. This is probably reviewed on Sephora. Um, yeah. Oh, no. They're all, only their Nilotica melts. Is, oh, this is a, even a... Oh, it's different packaging. This is the Latin Nilotica melt. Anyway. Um, let's see. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't have great reviews. People on the forum said it was great but maybe like two people. So forgive me. I'm glad I double checked on that. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. Um, okay. So moving on, here's, I don't know, here's another Avant product. Again, people are saying that their stuff works. This line is on, um, 
Sephora or Ulta. And uh, I don't believe this one had a whole lot of reviews, but it had good reviews. Let's see, Ulta, yeah. Oh, 26 reviews and almost a solid five stars. So if you're looking for a hair oil, that could be the one for you. That's really awesome. I have plenty of hair oil. I don't need any hair oil. <clears throat> Paracone, this is really interesting. Their stuff is always just a little too expensive in the sales for me to want to spring for it though. I have been wanting to start kind of incorporating some sort of, like at least a BB or CC cream into my routine. Oh, see here's, this is terry cloth. That's not, that's not necessarily a material though. Anyway, that looks cute, that, that leaf towel. Here's more of War. So this is the same as this hair oil I just looked at. So they're on Ulta. So you can get reviews there. <clears throat> more Wish. I don't know anything about the particular Wish product. I've talked about Wish though already. Um, type A I talked about. This has, oh, this has reviews like it's it's okay, don't, nothing special, feels like you're spraying water on your face. Uh, some people really like it. Uh, it's just a hairbrush, I guess. More Algenist, people like, more Wish. <clears throat> people with anxiety, with issues with anxiety are saying that this is amazing. Do be careful if you're going to be dosing CBD and start with less first. Um, otherwise, you could be in a deep sleeping beauty state uh, that you didn't expect. <laughs> uh, it can really put you to sleep. I've never, um, I don't think I've ever tried it, but I do know that that's what people have been saying. More Laura Geller, I've talked about that. Ahava, I like Ahava. Somebody mentioned to me recently that Ahava is not cruelty free, and I swear I looked that up and that they were but they might be referencing a different uh, site. Oh, no results for Ahava on Cruelty Free Kitty. That's interesting. No results. That's really weird. Okay. Anyway, somebody mentioned in a comment on one of my videos that they're not cruelty free. I really thought that they were. Um, but I do like uh, some of their products. I've used some that I don't. Um, I've used their hand cream. I have a foot cream that I haven't used yet. I liked the hand cream that I used. That's the only one in that bundle that I've used. Um, I try to, I don't really buy candles. I don't really burn candles actually anymore for some reason, no, no reason. But when something's scented in these, in these sales, I, I just try to stay away because you just don't know what it's gonna smell like. I'm very vigilant with the products too. If people talk about a really strong scent, then um, and it, and it's expensive, then I'll try to stay away from it. Snow Fox is a brand that is geared towards sensitive skin, people with rosacea. If you are in that category, this would be something that you could uh, explore. Uh, I don't know if anyone said anything about that. Moral Genist. I've never been really drawn to this brand. Uh, no one's really talked much about it. I think somebody did mention this and I can't remember what they said. Um, again, this is a darling speaker. If you're gonna be listening to podcasts, great, or you don't mind that the sound quality might be degraded, great. But if you care about your sound quality of your music, go for something more expensive, look for it elsewhere, do your research and invest in something nice. Tarte, talked about Tarte. These are awful. These are god awful. <laughs> they came in a box. They're terrible. Don't buy them. Uh, people on the forum were talking about them too, and they all agree with me, so just don't. Just don't do it. Um, this is apparently if you have uh, problems with folliculitis on your butt, then this is for you. Uh, it was really interesting to learn about that. And then, oh, here's this again. I mentioned that brand already. Here's the Kanuka I said has wonderful reviews. Uh, bundle, oh, I almost got these in white and then I decided I just don't need them. I have the LSTN or Listen, I think is what it's kind of trying to be. Um, I have their wireless earbuds that have a cord connected and I thought I don't need to spend $50 for the ones without the cord. I got the, the ones that I have from a Cause Box. They're a little bit bulky and clunky for being wireless. 
they do work. So that's why I like them. So they work well. And also the company donates part of the proceeds to help provide hearing aids for people in need. So that's also really cool. Um, but I decided to go ahead and, and get it rid of it from my cart. Um, let's see. I did look these up. I'm trying to remember. I think the reviews are mixed. I don't remember if you're interested in that. Uh, all I did was a Google search and looked through reviews. Um, again, the e-cooking brand already talked about that. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't find anything to speak of on this, but I didn't try very hard because I'm not interested in it. Here's more Snow Fox. Uh, PMD Kiss, no one's talking about this one, but people are talking about the others, so when I get to that, I will talk about it. I already talked about the Holy Frog stuff. Um, this is very expensive for just some manicure set. Look at that retail price on that. That's crazy. Uh, okay, more Avant. I already talked about that. More Algenist. More Becca. These, these lipsticks have great reviews. I mentioned that I just don't like lipsticks that transfer. Um, it is supposed to be a long wearing lipstick, but this one does transfer and I just don't like it. I just, I, I like to be able to kiss my husband when I want to. I like to be able to take a drink of water without it leaving the lipstick on the glass. I just don't like lipsticks that transfer. So it's not for me, but it has wonderful reviews. I wish it was for me. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't remember. I looked it up. I don't remember. Uh, I talked about this, the ish stuff you may or may not have heard. It's an in-house FabFitFun brand. No one ever says anything good about it ever. Uh, I don't know anything about Teamy. I do know that there are people out there who do like their stuff. Elemis, wonderful, wonderful line. I am hoping there's a summer kit available in this sale. I have been refreshing for it like crazy. Oh, I forgot to describe. I forgot. I have some more tips and tricks I'll go over if I remember to. I forgot to go over those. So if you really, really want to get something and it's out of stock, you click this little heart and that will add it to your favorites. And then you go to your favorites and you click that and that will list only the things you've added to your favorites. And then when you're in that area of the website, then you hit refresh and refresh and refresh and you hope that it shows up as being available again so you can snag what you're looking for. Anyway, I usually go through that little tip in the beginning of these videos and I forgot. I am sorry about that. So um, Elemis is a great line of products. Okay, here's another piece of jewelry. Let's see what it's made of. This one's sterling silver. This is a sterling silver locket. It's so cute. Oh, wow. See, so now this one I'm okay with. This is a this is something I could get on board with. It's a sterling silver simple heart necklace. How darling. I am really having trouble not adding that to my box right now. Okay. <laughs> so Silo or Silo, I have not heard the greatest things about their line of products in general and working well. Um, I don't know about that particular one, but in general, uh, that's just some tumblers and whatnot. Uh, this is a K-Beauty. Yep, K-Beauty. This has really good reviews. Apparently, it's like there are whole herb chunks in it. So if you are going to get weirded out by that, I think I saw this on Influencer. I saw reviews on Influencer for that. Some people really, really liked it. And it's supposed to be really calming to the skin. Okay, more ish. Snap White. Um, people recommended over Snap White, the other brand that's available. I saw like one person recommended, so pers a person <laughs> recommended the other brand that was available. Um, okay. Oh, salt and pepper shakers, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Uh, this line, Duce, or, or however you say it, um, this is not a loved line of products. People say, generally terrible things. There are once in a while, there's an outlier who speaks up and says, actually, I really like their stuff, but um, for the most part, people don't like it. Here's more MD Solar Sciences. This is a chemical sunscreen, So, but people like their stuff. It's a um, chemical face, face daily moisturizing sunscreen. Uh, so probably people, it has good ratings. People like it. 
talked about this. Laura Geller, uh, let's see, Way of Will, it's a Canadian company. Don't know anything about that. Smile Science Sciences. Maybe this was the other one. I, I'm not remembering, so I'm going to not talk about it. Um, I have used the Crest White Strips, and I have a video about that actually from a while ago that I did, and it did work for me. I got them at Costco. I saw one person say something about this on the forum. She said the same thing twice, was that she has a friend who's an Instagram influencer who swears by this stuff. Uh, that's all I've seen. Otherwise, online, there aren't, there aren't too, too many reviews to go off of. Um, I, I can't remember what I found out about this company. I'm sorry. Uh, more Furterer, Renee Furterer. <laughs> I bought my husband their styling cream and he, he's, he likes it. Okay. I bought him a different one. He likes better from R and Co actually. Uh, LMS. I've used both of these. This price is steep, but it is a full size eye cream. And this is a wonderful, wonderful mask. I've talked about them in review videos before. Um, I do like it. It came in a winter collection kit over a year ago, and it was a $21 kit, and you got the cream oil, and you got a bag. So this is a much higher price, <laughs> but they're great. They're great. Um, this had a fair amount of good reviews. Um, okay, we've got some bundles here, some glasses. I don't really talk about glasses and things like that. Those are things I just feel you can get elsewhere where you might be able to return them. Returning things to FabFitFun is a headache. So I, if there's anything on here that you want, think about where else you might be able to get it where you can return it. Check Amazon for a set of four glasses that are similar, and then you could return it. Um... Okay, I don't know much about this brand. People are saying who have purchased this bag that they do like it. It doesn't have a closure on top. Uh, that's why I didn't like it when I saw it. I, I want a closure. Uh, DP Hue, people generally love DP Hue stuff all around. This, I, I didn't keep it. I have plenty of shampoos and conditioners, but also I don't color my hair, so... Um, this is more for color treated hair. I, it, I got that impression. Yeah, color safe shampoo and conditioner. So I figured I'd leave it for people who need that kind of thing. This is that same bag in black. This is interesting. So I actually looked up <clears throat> reviews on this one and it has good reviews. And you know, I don't know if it works. You put it on before you work out. It's supposed to help target those tough areas. I don't know if it works, but even if it doesn't, if it's part of your workout routine and it helps you feel pumped and, and get into the mindset to do your workout, it's a pre-workout activator, then you do you. That's awesome. Um, Timmy. Oh, a bunch of Kate Spade stuff. Even the Kate Spade earrings. Yeah, rhodium plated brass. Even the Kate Spade earrings, but at least the retail price is a little bit lower. You're paying for the name, really, on those. Um, more Wish. I don't know. More Kate Spade. Uh, CBD. I looked it up. I don't remember. I'm sorry. This Rep stuff, pretty good reviews. Um, on each of their products. The face mask had better reviews than this one. <clears throat> More jewelry. Kind of if I talked about a category of products, I'm just going to start to skim over them. Um, hair tools. Let's talk about hair tools. So unless you've heard of the brand and you've seen a lot of reviews online and you know it's a good one, I wouldn't use the sales, the FabFitFun sales as a way to buy a new good hair dryer or a new good straightener. I did get my straightener on FabFitFun, but it was new me. There was plenty, um, there were plenty of reviews to reference and see, so I felt comfortable buying that one. But if you can't find anything, I would recommend going to Ulta or somewhere you can, or, or Amazon or Costco or somewhere you can return it. I got my hair dryer. I got the T3 Feather White from Costco. I know a lot of people have been able to score that at Costco. So if you're looking for something like that, I would definitely check elsewhere where you might be able to return the product. Electronics, things like that, gadgets in these sales, 
I've seen too many people complain about getting stuck with something that was faulty. Um, here's that Graydon skincare again. I already talked about them. These are really, really cute. I, they're not something I would wear, but oh my gosh, if you're looking at this and there's something you would wear, please. I love it. I would love that. They're so cute. They're just not something I would wear though. Um, more Vore stuff. Some, this had, these, these, this product line had surprisingly good reviews when I looked into them. I did keep some in my cart for a while, but I'm trying to not spend so much. Um, but I was, I was surprised to see such great reviews about their products. Uh, okay. This is the uh, styling cream that I got for my husband. He thought it was fine. He did. He think he thought it was good, but he likes a different one better now. I should try it one day so that I could tell you about it. Uh, he often uses my hair stuff, so I sometimes will buy him something to see if he likes it. Um, okay. Oh, this. A lot of people were actually asking about this particular necklace in this in the forum, and a lot of people chimed in saying that it tarnished. Probably because of the material it's made out of. Um, okay, <clears throat> more rep. Talked about them. Um, let's see. Summer and Rose. People seem to like. Oh, okay. The PMD Clean Pro in Berry. So <clears throat> there are two of these available. One is teal, and one is this one, I guess. And people are talking about it on the sale. So, so much. And the, there's one that's more expensive, which I guess is this one. And this one is more expensive because you can plug it in to charge it. And then the other one's on batteries. Like this one's like a, a, a more recent generation. Um, and then there's also a difference with what's on the back. So there's one side for cleaning and then on the other side there's something else. So if you go to the forum and you search PMD clean, uh, there's a whole bunch of talk about it and you can learn the difference. I'm not, I don't really like those kinds of tools for my safe, my face. Um, so I don't, I don't, I'm not interested. That's why I don't know so much, but okay. Light therapy. I've talked about light therapy before. It's supposed to really work. Doctors, my dermatologist told me, recommended it to me. Um, there is something about these little individual devices. I just wish I had, could get like one big mask. And I think they may have had it available in a sale. I'm not sure. Maybe I dreamt it. But one big mask you just lay on your entire face. Like they have these little devices where it's like a circle and you need to lay it over your face and separately and take longer. Anyway. Okay, here are some bundles. Like I said, I'm not going to go over each bundle. I'll just talk about the individual products. This is a newer line of nail polishes. I believe they're 12 free. I love nail polish. <laughs> I believe they're 12, 12 free and um, high end, all of that good stuff. I will try them maybe one day. More Graydon, more Way of Will. I couldn't find too many reviews, but if you are fighting acne, that could be for you. On the Z, I've definitely glossed over that on the Z Skin bundle, and then here's some just like things that you could search on Amazon. Again, these are just things that you might just want to go to Amazon and see if you can find something that's returnable, that's comparable, that you won't get stuck with if you don't like it. Um, I don't know what that is. <sighs> Let's see. Gabba Goods, uh, I I think it's kind of like Silo, C-Y-L-O. They're both not the most reliable gadgets. And I, again, I wouldn't get gadgets on here. Uh, Air, I used a face wash by them that I didn't like at first, but it ended up growing on me and I really liked. New York-based company, Sustainable. Um, this has good reviews. This Julep Lights a Fancy palette. It's a nice neutral palette, kind of like an everyday palette. Uh, another bundle, expensive leather tote bag, talked about this. Oh, somebody posted more pictures of this. So it opens up and it is like a little wallet. Um, somebody posted more pictures of this on the forum. If you go to the forum and use the search tool, or if you search Google, uh, you might be able to find more pictures. Um, 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 um okay. 
this, I don't know. There was some talk about this, but, oh, right, I remember now. Okay, so there was some talk about this on the well, on the forum, and somebody was saying, you know, if you're in the pool and you've got a lot of people there hanging out, talking, you can't hear it very well. If it's just you, maybe, but... And I think it's also available on Amazon, not necessarily the unicorn, but uh, different floating ones. I think somebody said a donut was available on Amazon. So this is a newer line, um, newer high-end line, just a few reviews that are good. Um, I didn't get around to looking into this line, Beauty Stat. Um, oh, pet hair care. Huh. Uh, I don't, I don't, no comment, uh, no, no good or bad comment. Uh, Victoria Land, this is a woman owned company. What is this? Oh, skin loving. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Uh, this I'm going to keep in mind because I am very pregnant. I'm due in a month and I'm going to keep this in mind, um, that it's a thing that exists. It really is not much of a discount. So can probably find a cheaper one on Amazon, Amazon. They are having more and more clothes available in these sales. Uh, clothes for me, again, something that I just feel I can get at TJ Maxx or Ross or, or, or um, Amazon. And then, you know, have the ability to return if I need to. Also, I did order, I ordered a style item. It was a pea coat, and I did a video about that. And it it was $19 and it was basically a sweatshirt in the shape of a pea coat and I was all about that. Uh, and it's good. It did pill uh, pretty quickly. So um, there's that. But I, would, I wouldn't have paid more than $19 for sure and it said it retailed for $50. Okay, some totes and things, more Kate Spade earrings. The Ciate London glitter stuff is very, very glittery. It's very glittery. It's nice but just know that you can definitely see the glitter. So it's, you know, it's for like New Year's or nights out or something like that. Very glittery. Again, I don't get scents. I've never smelled this perfume before. Didn't look into that. Okay, Gabba Goods, good, talked about that. I like the London Town stuff. I haven't reviewed it yet, but I loaded up on London Town stuff in the last sale, and I did my nails. It lasted for a week, um, which is is pretty standard. I feel a week. If it can last a week, then I feel I feel pretty satisfied. Um, Rebecca Minkoff. People are excited about their her stuff being available. Oh, finally, somebody did say something about this dryer that they purchased it in a sale and that they really like it. Before that, I haven't, I hadn't been able to find any information on it. Um, clothes. I talked about clothes. I talked about jewelry. I talked about hair tools. Um, oh, the Bios Apothecary. Finally, somebody did say. Some people did say that they really like this hair serum, and I had talked about in a prior video how I had so much trouble finding any reviews on Bios Apothecary. I was so curious about them, and somebody said, and I haven't verified this, but somebody said that they were on Etsy, and you could find reviews on Etsy. So I don't know why that wasn't popping up when I was searching before. So if you're looking for reviews and you can't find reviews on this, check out Etsy. It might be there. This is interesting because this is full price. There is absolutely no discount on this face mask. So if you're torn and you're not just, I mean, you can get it later for a full price. Um, so I thought I've never seen that before. <clears throat> okay, so gadgets. I uh, don't, is this a rug? Anyway, gadgets and, and, and furniture and clothing. I just don't tend to, this is cute. Okay, sorry, I just don't tend to, what's it made of? Leather, that's cute. I don't tend to go for those things. Gadgets, clothing, furniture. Um, I showed this in my last uh, video that I made with those box spoilers. And finally, they actually put more pictures. Before, they were only putting this picture up, so you couldn't really see. Uh, but it's a good little wallet. It's really worth the price if you're looking for a wallet and you like this style. 
Uh, it's a good price. I haven't used it, used it, but it, it it's good. It feels well made. Um, sponge gel, face masks, way. People love this. People in general say great things. I like the way it performed. It is way too heavily fragranced for me. It smells like artificial perfume and I don't like it. Um, so I got through half of the bottle and I have half a bottle left that I will get through eventually, but I don't like it. Um, more Dr. Brandt. Uh, people say that this works really well. One person had a really good idea that she put it in um, bridesmaids gifts uh, or, or or use use it as a gift in bridal showers, something like that. But uh, I, my husband bought me one of those sonic jewelry cleaners. I really, really like this styling cream. It works really, really well. Don't, one thing that I did learn is that I, sometimes I will put an oil in my wet hair after I get out of the shower just for a little extra conditioning. And it did not work well on top of oil. It like, it made my hair almost like dusty or something. It was really strange. It was like the product couldn't stick to the oil. It needs to be able to absorb into your hair. The oil like created a barrier or something. So I tried it without the oil and then it was fine. It works so beautifully in my hair. It feels like I'm not wearing anything and my hair looks great when I use it. It's just $19 and I have a lot of hair products so I'm not gonna get it. Um, <clears throat> but it, it works. It worked really, really well for me. Some people on the forum did speak up and say they didn't like it but for the most part, um, a majority of people really like it. Okay, sponge gel, mystery bundle, daily concepts, talked about that. Green goo, talked about that. Um, uh, the unhide, this is a wildly popular throw. Um, it might be one of those things where when something is so loved, I notice the people that don't like it don't tend to speak up. This is on the forum, but sometimes people do. And then once one person speaks up, then other people are like, oh, I thought I was the only one who didn't think it was anything special. So people love this, but there, I am seeing people kind of coming out of the word, woodwork saying, yeah, it's nice, but it's not worth the price tag. Um, I have an open mind because initially I got it and I was just saving it as a gift for somebody. Um, but people were raving about it so much that I decided that I will keep it. But I haven't I have an open mind, so I don't know. Um, Mighty Patch, people love Mighty Patch. I have them, they do work. They work if your blemish has a white head and it's ready to be coaxed out. Um, I don't know, they didn't work for me on, you know, the deeper, the deeper blemishes. Okay. Um, Tula, Invisibobbles. I like Invisibobbles because they don't leave a crease in my hair like the rubber bands do. Um, so, you know, you take your hair down, you can see that crease and you can't get rid of it. That's why I like Invisibobbles. So they don't work in some people's hairs. You don't have to love them. Cihate, I don't know anything about that particular lipstick. This doesn't have great reviews. I think it had three and a half stars on Sephora, I want to say. Uh, more Kate Somerville, more Kula. Um, let's see, more Daily Concepts. I had these, and they were great. They're very exfoliating, so they're they're pretty rough, but they were great. I I did like those. Uh, Recoil is probably one of the best curly hair products, like specifically for getting your curls defined. Um, products that I have ever used. You, if you use it, make sure you use it on your hair when it's still very wet and squish it into your wet hair so that it gets a nice even distribution. That's typically the best way with curly hair actually to distribute your product. Make sure your hair is still like dripping wet and squish the product into it and then even though it's still really really wet you can scrunch it with a towel to get some of that excess, excess water out but it's the best way to make sure of an even distribution on your product. Very good stuff, this recoil stuff. Often on sale at Ulta, um, during uh, the 21 Days of Beauty, often AG hair care products are still are also on sale. Um, okay, Laura Geller, the socks I mentioned are great. This stuff has great reviews. I don't need more hair products right now. 
I talked about these acrylic jars. Look for the yeah, tons at TJ Maxx and Ross. You can go get a variety of options for the same prices in the sales. This didn't have a lot of reviews, but the reviews were not good. Um, I don't do sheet masks. I said Kate Somerville, talked about that, talked about that. I don't know about this. Um, there's one, so I don't know too much about uh, sea salt texturizing spray. I don't use texturizing sprays. They aren't the greatest for curly hair. Um, we don't we don't really need them in for curly hair, but uh, if you straighten your hair and you want something like that, for me, oils work better to give me that. Different products work better in my hair than texturizing sprays. <laughs> I'll just I'm just gonna stop there. Sometimes I blab a little. I'm sorry. The leave-in cream conditioner. People were saying good things about this and that it smelled really, really good. Um, one person was saying that it performed okay, but that she actually used it more for the smell. This is the one that whoever it was said was the one to go for. I had it in my cart, but then I was like, I have some more of those crest white strips. I can just dump it. Um, this people said worked okay. Um, let's see. Mosquito repellent? I don't know. Amazon. Amazon for that stuff. Co. Oh, this has good reviews. The Beach Waver stuff has good reviews. Uh, more ish, more rock your hair. Talked about, oh, this is just mascara. There was talk on the forum of comparing mascaras, so you can do a search for mascaras. So I really like, if you haven't gotten into the lip scrub and lip balm routine, I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you like to wear long-lasting lipsticks. You do this at night, and then your long-lasting lipstick wears so well the next day. Um, I have the Wish lip scrub that I think some people got a bad batch of because they said it smelled and tasted awful. Mine was fine, and it smells and tastes like sugar or even like cookie dough. Um, so I have it. I really, really like it. Uh, this is... If I needed a scrub and a balm, I would get this. This has um, some people on the forum said it, it was just awful. I wouldn't, I, I saw this and I got excited. I don't like the way it says you need to microwave in the silicone cup. There are, for not too much more money, uh, not too much more money on Amazon, um, the kind where you actually get the pot that you plug in and it melts the beads, and then you can, you, you don't have to go back and forth to the microwave and pick up a potentially hot silicone cup. I would, I would, I have been eyeing one of those ones that you plug in and, um, and then you use it that way. Eventually, I might give that a try. But this particular one didn't have what people weren't saying good things about it. There weren't the greatest reviews about this either, but it's a great price. And so if they're okay hand creams, that's a good price for some hand cream. Oh, I didn't see this one. I don't know anything about that one, but it's AG Hair Care. Uh, these, you can get a pack of like nine for only a few dollars more. So I am going to probably do that eventually. Um, I found a couple of reviews said that said this worked. Humidity, anti-humidity spray. More Becca. I don't, uh, I don't know if anyone said anything about that. Um, I don't know the Tarte. This has uh, okay reviews, and then there was a uh, YouTube video where somebody reviewed it. I think it looks like it could be really good, um, and it's long-lasting. Uh, so I think this looks like it could be really good. But like I said, it's Tarte, owned by a company that's not considered cruelty-free. Candles, things you can smell, I don't get. Uh, some people really love this thing and, um, and highly recommend it. I've seen on the forum. This, I have this, and so I think this is one of the reasons why I'm not so into trying Copari. I just mentioned how I love the lip scrub and the lip balm combo. This is very thick and a little bit goopy. You have to be very careful not to put too much on your lips. I do like the way my lips feel when I wake up in the morning. They feel like they've been very hydrated. That's how I use this stuff. I put it on before I go to bed at night. And they do feel very hydrated. It's just kind of thick and goopy. 
Um, there was there's a Jouer one that's amazing that I that I got in a sale. I saw it once. I got it that sale. I haven't seen it again. That I keep waiting to see if it comes back. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, people love the poopery stuff. Here's more uh, Paradox. It's a sea salt spray, so that's more like a texturizing spray, not for my hair. The Nelson J stuff, it's all new launches, so not a lot of reviews. Um, I don't know anything about the wealthy stuff. Uh, Beach Bum. I... Tousled Texture. I missed this one. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to research that one for myself. I missed that one. I like AG hair care. <laughs> not, not, not across the board. I don't, I've used a couple of their shampoos and conditioners and I didn't like either. Here's the other PMD Pro. So this one takes batteries. The other one is plug-in and rechargeable. That's the main difference. And then there's an, a di another difference with like what's on the other side of the, the scrubber um, and what it's used for. I don't know. Nelson, again, new. Um, this apparently really works. This type of stuff, not Mads in particular, but this type of stuff where it looks pink and then it has the liquid on top. Mighty Patch, already talked about that. Already talked about this. May Love, they had some serum and glycolic cream that was well loved in a sale. Um, uh, the company is great. It's founded by three MIT graduates. They are based in San Francisco. Um, they're about being affordable, but high end. The company is great. Yeah. Okay. People are saying good things about the beach waiver tools. So there are reviews out there for this one. Um, you could look into that. I wonder, is this the one that... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, so this is the one that in my poll won um, as far as which cleanser to get. But I don't know. I just, I'm just not so terribly intrigued by Kupari. People love them, though. People really do love them. Well, this one has en papaya enzymes. So this has a little bit of chemical exfoliation in it. Fruit enzymes are usually chemical exfoliators, gentle ones, but they are chemical exfoliators. Oh, they have a toothpaste. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now I'm just getting stuck. This has a lot of reviews on Sephora, really good reviews. I almost got it. Then I looked at the negative reviews and and let myself be influenced by them so I could cut it from my cart. It's apple cider vinegar, um, witch hazel, and then there's one other ingredient uh, but the, a lot of people said that it does it does work really well for them. Okay. Um, ish. Mia Del Mar. I don't know anything about it, though, but it's a Miami company. I, I'm i interested to try something by Better Skin Co. one day. Sampar, the French company, people said that this was like, meh. That was what people said on the forum. There's more of the Miami Beach bum stuff. Oh, Clear Brow Gel from Billion Dollar Beauty. They used to call them, I thought they were Billion Dollar Brows before. Maybe they changed their name because I did think with, with that name they really limited themselves. I have a Billion Dollar Brow Gel that's in uh, brown, and I like it. There's more Paracone, more Becca. More sheet masks, more tools, more trinkets. These are very small. If you're interested in these, they're votive size. So note that. More bundles. I don't know anything about a towel yoga mat. I don't do hot yoga. So this is supposedly geared toward hot yoga. I don't do hot yoga. Mind tan. People like mind tan stuff. People love these sheet masks, or a couple people said wonderful things about those sheet masks. On the forum, you can get things like this at TJ Maxx for less. Here's another uh, nail line that's also, oh, this one is the one that's 12 free. 
Uh, the other one is also free of a lot of bad uh, ingredients, but this is the one that's 12, th 12 free. The other one, coat, that I talked about earlier. Okay, more bagu, or bagu. No, this is the first time we're seeing this. No, it's not. I have them in my cart. These are smaller. The ones in my cart are larger. More aloe up. We talked about them. We talked about Laura Geller. More jewelry, more bundles. Let's see. There's the other holy frog. Um, 111 skin. People really like them. I do have a friend who used this one, and she said that it was awful. <laughs> but she was the only one. Everybody else says that it's great. The beaker bottles, they have a very thin mouth, and some people complain about that, but for the most part, people love those bottles. Ciate, this is going to be very glittery, very, very glittery. Just be sure you're prepared for how glittery. Okay, so there's more of the light devices, more Aranco, more Mad. I haven't been drawn to them. Mirad's owned by Unilever, so I don't get them. Unilever's not cruelty free. Um, I've been really wanting to try something by the organic pharmacy, but now is not the time. <laughs> there weren't a lot of reviews on those products anyway. I'm kind of coming to, I feel like I'm coming to a lot of like gadgets and things that you can, I, I've said you can get online. I did buy this in the last sale and it had based on good reviews. So I will, I haven't used it though. Um, I have a Kate Spade. I have this in a different pattern, different cover, um, and it's fine, but it's, it's, I wouldn't pay that again for it. Milk makeup, this is something that people are very split on, either love or hate it. Um, this is really cute, and I looked on Amazon, and this is actually a really good price for something like this. More bundles. People say that this is a great deal for something like this and that these work well. I still don't really recommend getting gadgets on, on here. I don't know much about Oribe. I just know that their dry shampoo that everyone loved did not work for me. Um, in this little kit, I have used the High Dive and it is kind of a it's a styling cream and you can kind of feel it in your hair after your hair is dried. I didn't really like it very much. Um, this is what I would get if I could, but I'm going to be breastfeeding. I'm pregnant and I will be breastfeeding, so I can't use retinol. Um, the Attitude Sheet Set, even though it's $100, people are saying great things and that they really like it. Um, more tart, more milk makeup, more clothes, more towels, gadgets, talked about the DP hue, immunocology, I did get this actually once. I would say for this serum, it's not, it's not really worth the price tag there, but there, uh, there's other stuff by that brand that's really, really good. More clothes. Oh, here's the Game Changer Hair Mask by Paradox. It smells great, herbal, all of that. Um, again, aluminum packaging. I didn't feel like it was any better than like an okay hair conditioner. Oh, and then here's Carez. I stopped getting Carez because they have... Oh, there's an error here. Um, it should say imidazolidinol urea. The, the phenoxyethanol is a different ingredient. So there's an error there. That's that's a formaldehyde releaser. A lot of lotions have formaldehyde releasers, and I try to avoid those. Um, more Kate Somerville. This is the Elemis Summer Kit that I am hoping to snag, but I don't think I will. I don't think anyone's going to let go of those. Here I have these sunglasses, and they are darling. They are really, really cute. They would look good on a lot of different face shapes too. They're really cute. Okay, so that's the end of the sale. 
Now we're going to go to the customizations and I'm going to quickly show you what I picked. I don't put actually as much careful consideration and thought into the customizations. The one thing I love about FabFitFun is that you can shop, shop these sales. It's amazing. So for customization one, here it is. I've picked the ch wireless charging pad. I have an iPhone 11 and I don't have a wireless charging pad, so why not? I picked this tote. It's really, really cute. And I threw in the towel as well. I'm not sure if I'll keep the towel. I don't want anything actually from this category. So I picked the most expensive thing. <laughs> this is retails for $120 and it's a facial oil. I don't need any facial oil, but I don't want anything else in this that category. So I don't really want anything from this one either. I um, So I picked the sunglasses. I do think that they're cute. If you want a more detailed review of what I think of the customization items, I will link my last video that I did with the spoilers in the description box so you can see. Um, so I was gonna get this silk satin pillow sleeve, but somebody pointed out to me that you have to make sure that it's actually silk and not satin and that was a really good point because it looks like it's actually satin. Um, so I'm going to get the Terramer Aloe and Tea Tree Toner and see how I like that. And then for this one I'm getting the Lifestyle Co Beach Mist. I do like Lifestyle Co as a brand. So again if you are curious more detailed thoughts what my more detailed thoughts are on the customization choices i will link my last video in the description box below so you can see that and um yeah so that's it that is oh oh and then they have the oh wait that's not it <laughs> and then they have this new boost your box thing that they're trying out where you can add something else to your box if you like it they're all sold out so I can't show you what they are. Well, I can, but not very easily. So this is a Grown Alchemist Hydrate Head to Toe Bundle. I actually had two of the things in that bundle, a Too Faced Bundle, and then a Safety Bundle, Stay Safe Bundle for the times that we are in. So that's it. <laughs> that is what my cart looks like and my thoughts on the sale and my customizations. So I am going to end this video. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. All right, bye.